My name is Matthew, and I believe that you were born with the message that someone else was born to hear. And it is my desire to help you cultivate and to share that message. And today, I wanted to do that by talking about sounds and why they are critical to the worship experience, at least why I think they are. So one thing to note before we jump in though, each church has a unique sound. Yes, there are tons of similarities. Most churches have guitars and keys and all this stuff. There's tons of similarities, obviously. But each church will likely be a little different and have a different expression of those same sounds and how they work together and how they're mixed together and all this stuff. Um, So every church is going to be a little bit different especially depending on your culture, your context, vision of your church, vision of your pastor and what you're going for and you know what that looks like for you. Um, but I do hope that the content of this video helps you to think more intentionally about sounds you use in your services and why they are critical to the worship experience. I've got some helpful links below in the description um, that will be great resources for you um, if you're trying to improve your sounds and your worship experience um, tons of tons of resources online these days that are uh, helpful tools presets patches uh, youtube videos all kinds of stuff teaching about how to get better sounds uh, from the your current gear the gear that you have so be sure to check that out for some of my fav- favorite resources on the interwebs All right, we can go ahead and jump in. The first thing that comes to mind uh, whenever I'm thinking about sounds and the worship experience and how critical they are is this. Sounds create an atmosphere. An atmosphere is the tone or the mood of a place. It can be energetic. It could be hopeful, looking ahead to the future. It could be introspective. It could be retrospective, intimate, uh, and or reverent. And so... All of our sounds in the worship experience are helping to create an atmosphere. And so the question that that I think is important is to just think about, okay, what's the what's the message of this series? What's the message of the song? And what is going to help people hear that message the best? Because that's really what this is all about. We want to help people hear the message, you know. I don't know if you've ever heard this, but sometimes you can be told something but not hear it. You can hear something but not hear it. So we want to be able to tell people this amazing gospel message of the hope of Christ. And we want them to hear it and we want them to know it and to believe it more. And uh, so what kind of atmosphere can we create that's going to facilitate that and to help them to hear that message? The second thing is this. The sounds in our worship experience drive emotions and they help people to feel, you know, so often, you know, we can be listening to music in the car or whether we're working out or maybe just getting ready in the morning, but that music in those contexts can help us to feel certain things. It can, if we're working out, we can feel more motivated to get that last rep in. If we're driving and maybe we're, uh, maybe we're driving away from family and we're, you know, that puts us, we're already super sad. And then we get even more sad. We get it all up in our feels and stuff. And we just love our family so much. And, and so, you know, it can help us to feel super grateful and super loving towards our family. Uh, maybe it's an inspirational, um, we're thinking about the hope of our future that um, God has plans for us and he, we were created before the foundations of the world with good works um, in mind for us that we would walk in them and do those things and God has a purpose for our lives and man that's inspiring and um, so it can yeah help us to feel inspired it can drive our emotions and to help us feel and so we just ask, ask, ask ourselves this question what's the message of the song and what's in this series or on this Sunday, what emotion is going to help drive this message? And uh, to, you know, think about how we can do that. The third thing, excuse me, I need some water. I'll get it in a minute. Okay. Third thing. Sorry about that. Cohesion. The way sounds work together is important. 
And so think about this, like so sounds can be similar, uh, sounds can be complementary, uh, meaning that maybe maybe you have a dark sound and maybe you have a brighter sound or um, maybe not quite that drastic, but something of that nature. You know, I'm thinking about guitar right now and, and sometimes it's, it's helpful if maybe one of the guitar players is using the bridge pickup, but maybe another guitar player is using the neck pickup and you're sort of doing those sounds together, especially like this week, we happen to be doing a song where both guitar players are um, playing sort of a, a lead sorts of lines and they sound really great together. And part of that is the separation and the frequency content and, and how we're doing our pickups and our tones are, are different. And so it, it doesn't, it feels more like they're working together and they're complementary to each other and they're not stepping on each other's toes. For example, if they were both super bright, it might just feel like there, there's not enough separation in the sounds that you're hearing, especially since they're both sort of lead lines. But the way that we're doing it is um, one of the guitar players is me this week i'm using my neck pickup and the other guy he's using more of a bright sound and those sounds are working together to create this really cool um melodic piece in the song so super excited about that um maybe you're a keys player and uh maybe you've got some layered sounds and maybe one of the sounds is more of a low warm thing but then as the song builds you sort of bring in a bright um sort of something to add more energy um and all this stuff and so these even though the sounds are different they really work together and complement one one another um, so that's another thing that's important to think about uh, in our worship experience is the cohesion of our sounds are they working together the fourth thing that comes to mind whenever i'm thinking about sounds in our worship experience is this god uses sounds and instruments to accomplish his purposes and so like i said a, a second ago all these are related um and we're thinking about our message we're thinking about communicating that to the congregation and helping them to hear that message and god's going to use your instrument the instruments of whatever you have available to you at your church to accomplish his purposes to help his people to hear his message man and we get to be a part of that and we get to man we're playing guitar we're playing keys we're playing drums we're you know tambourine uh, maybe not tambourine um some of us maybe but whatever you know i love tambourine okay let's okay you know anyway we can move on from that that's kind of weird but god's going to use sounds and instruments to accomplish his purposes and we get to be a part of that a part of that and it's really cool uh okay the fifth thing is this the flow of the worship experience um so this is really cool thinking about transitions and the fluidity of things um you know it's really great you know sometimes having an underlying pad in in songs to kind of be the glue between songs or maybe it's a, a guitar swell or note or you know something hangs over a little bit um, but our sounds and our worship experience can contribute to the flow of the service um so Anyway, uh, that's really the content that I've got for you today. So my question for you is this. Do you think sounds matter in church? Or do you think it's just kind of like, yeah, man, whatever. You know, just use, you know, whatever. You know, just turn the amp on, plug the guitar in and go for it. You know, which is, there's value there. I'm not saying that there isn't. Um, but maybe we need to be a little bit more intentional with how, especially when you get a lot of people and you have a big team you need to start thinking more intentionally about sounds and your worship experience i believe um but do you believe that do you think sounds matter in church in the comments below tell me why or why not tell me in the comments below tell me why or why not you believe sounds really matter that much in our worship experience and don't forget to check out the description uh, below for some of my favorite resources on getting better sounds in worship. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.